Hey everybody, it's the 84th Wolf once again with Saints Row 4. Uh, continuing my Doctor Who look, uh, in the last time I left off, um, I did a mission for Kenzie. Um, nothing too excited, except one of the rogue programs I was supposed to kill was actually a toilet. Very strange. But anyway, apart from that, nothing really changed. Um, I got, from Kenzie, I got an upgrade for my, uh, for the damage of my uh, superpowers, and apart from that, that was it. So anyway, we're going to continue with the main story quest uh, right after I pick that up. <laughs> we're going to break Matt Miller out. All right, we got Sid. So, how do we use him to get mad? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kinsey, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. How does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens a gateway. All right, let's go get the kid then. Oh, you gotta be kidding. <sighs> okay. As someone from the military, I need to explain that poster that we just saw. The one with the do-rag thing. Um, it's a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty well-known uh, poster. Basically, when uh, women started getting the right to join the military and that was one of the promotional pictures uh, I mean I'm sure you can find it online very easily on Google images and I mean it doesn't rub me the wrong way but that was just oh god Zinyak you're evil alright let's do this It's like Pierce with his hat over there. And wider eyes. A little creepy. Matt Miller, the self proclaimed hacker god, ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Alright, we're actually getting into what I consider the story now. So I haven't seen any of this. Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Oh, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I just have to deal with it. At least this ain't my first time at the oh, top down wow. tank rodeo. Hey, Kinsey, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. I know this is an homage to some. Jesus. Is anyone counting some video games? game, but I'm not familiar with which one. Jesus, controlling this thing is a pain. And it's slow. Jesus, and I have a terrible aim. I'm sorry. God, how did I miss him? All right, that way. Could it be as simple as 3D? No, 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 no! Don't put in a space. Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Oh, jeez. Reverse. Uh, okay. Now. All right. Swing around. Oh, 
Oh, I can use this? Oh, wow, that is way simpler. Finally! There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Then what do you care if I try? Oh, Very geez, well. I didn't even see him. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Who's shooting at me? Really? I'm still standing! Going up again the tank, guys. This is fun. I mean, so I, I, I like the style. Of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Mr. Really? Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, oh, good towers controlling security stars. on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Okay. Touche. Fine, I'll just kill you all. Oh, hey, I just ran over a guy. Me. I don't think these guys are hurting me. Alright, can I shoot this thing now? That's two. Here we go. One more to go. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. <laughs> Some people is the same thing. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. That's something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. <sighs> that was not paying attention to where I was going. I was trying to read the text. Ow! That's not cool, man. You can't just spawn and shoot. Oops, now it's a miss. All right, last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. Oh, well, that's fair. the tower invulnerable. Hey, hang on, I'll find a workaround. I'm trapped. Oh, it's a trap! Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, while you're not sh watching me... Alright, I'm paying more attention to the text on the screen. Getting swarmed here! Wait, let me try something. Oh, Kenzie's recording this. Ow! Oh, that's not good. Okay, this'll work. Oh, they destroyed the gate. Okay. I'll work with that. Alright, Tron, do this! Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zid, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Oh god, tank! This petty pace from day to day. To the you don't want to bother me. Leave me alone. Time. And all our yesterdays have lighted food. Way to dust I don't know if I can fall off this, but I don't want to try. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale Excuse me. told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Never did like that. Woo! Oh, that wasn't good. Lots of tanks. Oh, that's not good. Whoa. This is fun, I like this style. I think it's a throwback from to uh Saints Row 3 when you had a fight. Matt Miller in a boss battle. Like, it has a similar feel to it. And I know I said I never played Saints Row 3, but I've seen the cutscenes. He goes into a computer in that one. Whoa! Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you neither. You just keep those reassurances coming. Woo! Lindsay, what's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time, and will, through your violence, take the blue pills, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty, and even a ship for my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is really a moral choice system? Where you can prove to be the Savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? Really? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those who are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. All right. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right, I'll deal with this. All right, I'm going to save this cuz I want to see what happens if you if you kill yourself. But uh for now, I'll just take the uh saving Matt Miller. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped I think that's funny. He doesn't understand. A text adventure now? Can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Look at the computer. It's a computer. Approach the computer. On the screen, one question is asked. What are you? What do you type? I'm a slave. Fuck off. I'm awesome. I'm the leader of the saints. I'm awesome. I'm sorry. Can... Contradictions cannot be read by this program. Uh, fuck off? The computer does not fuck off. I'm a slave. The room melts away, giving you a breathtaking view of the cosmos. What do you do? Very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Walk on the moon. The moon is a pretty boring place. Uh, investigate the planet. Appears to be a desert world with a radius of. 30, 
3,100 kilometers, I guess that is. Scan planet. You found something. Launch probe. You found some element Uno. Okay, fly towards purple star. As you fly towards the star, you notice all the other stars blinking out of existence. Soon you are all alone in the vastness of space, staring into the... Cool. Shit. Sorry, I'm not very good at reading out loud. I'm, I love to read, but saying the words on paper is a little hard for me for some reason. Uh, so anyway, what do you do? Enter the purple star. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? I'm quite proud of this one. And what am I looking at? Terra. As personified by a literary culture. It's a raven. A dead pirate with a black parrot. Thank you, Edgar Allan Poe. A raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <sighs> um. Touch the pendulum. Chops off her hand. Fortunately, in the simulation, you could grow it back. You probably shouldn't do that again. Drink the wine. As you guzzle down the bottle of ancient murder wine, you became lightheaded and pass out. What do you do? Wake up. The warm water of the ocean laps at your Must face. Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ouch. I'm hitting the nerve. I tire of this. I just realized Deal that he's on your own. reading it at the same That's time wrong. I am. Deal with who? Like a raft and sea all courses in Kyle. Uh, okay. Make a coconut radio. Make a house out of palms. Make my two martini glasses out of coconuts. Crudely fashion a pair of cocktail glasses and fill them with coconut milk. Drink the milk or offer the architect a drink. Sure. Uh, um, Beautiful dominatrix emerges from the only shadow on the island. What do you say? Let me go. Nice outfit. Your mom's a slave. Your mom's a slave. Why are you mean? I'm sorry. You locked me in a virtual hellhole. I'm just going to be a dick. Fine, blame the victim. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. I want to rescue Matt Miller. Sorry, right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there. And who's that? Dominatrix fades away before you stands Killbane. Since think you can beat me again? No, this time Maddie has to do his own fighting. What do you say? Bring back the woman with the whip. <laughs> See, you don't care about Miller. You only come about yourself. I wonder if any of this, like, affects the game. Or I'm just fucking around. Just wondering what she was doing later. Oh, same response. All right. Then where's Matt? Suddenly, Matt Miller appears in the ring. What do you say? Let's do this. Kilbane Lance, you really think a whip like Matty can defeat me? Matt Miller cowers a bit. I don't know if I can do this. What do you say? Shut the hell up, Kilbane. Okay. Same response. I know we can beat him, Matt. Matt Miller weekly nods. All right then. What should Matt do? Low Kilbane into a false sense of security. Okay, same thing. Taunt Kilbane. Okay, same thing. Punch Kilbane. What the hell was that? Punch Kilbane again. Matt Miller takes advantage of Kilbane's surprise and punches him again. Kilbane yells, It is impossible! What should Matt do? Punch Kilbane again. With the mighty swing, Matt Miller's third hit in a row sends Kilbane crashing to the ground unconscious. Matt Miller shouts, I did it! I won! What do you say? I told you, kid. Matt Miller breathes a sigh of relief. I knew you could get me through this. Now, can I get out of this antique of a game? Time to go, Matt. Large ringing device appears before Matt Miller. Koi Wow connects two pieces in a massive dial, not unlike the chamber of a revolver, rests in the center. Well, I, I 
guess you could compare the two. Pick up the phone. <laughs> God, this really is the Matrix. Get sucked through the phone into the real world. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander in chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? <laughs> oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey. Kinsey, I love you, Kinsey. Some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. that Bluetooth permanently attached to his head? Ah! Why am I bald? What... What happened? What happened to my wallet? No! My wallet! No! Eh, I guess I'll talk to Kenzie since I'm here. She's this way. There she is. Hey, Kenzie. I'm bald! Every store you hack feeds me security data. I can use that data to insert a virus, which will open up a doorway back to the ship. So go hack while I work on the virus. Got it. <laughs> Kenzie. I lost it. Have sex with me. Hey, Kenzie, you wanna fuck? Thank you, Kenzie. <laughs> you know, for a half second, I was hoping that after that cutscene, my hair would grow back. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Alright, well, I think it's because in the simulation, I'm wearing the mask. So it doesn't show it. I think, maybe. But, whatever. We'll just enter the simulation, find out where Matt is. Retrieve Matt. Oh, oh god damn it, really? Why do I have to talk to Kenzie? I just frickin' talked to her. Oh, I got my hair back. Maybe sex with Kenzie actually did help. Kenzie, you're an angel! I did not expect the safety dive. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing, not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. <laughs> it is beautiful. 
<laughs> Kenzie, I love you. All right. I, that landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No. And it's not your power armor. What am I walking into here, Kinsey? If you do damage the power armor, you can find the repair kit in some of the storage crates. Alright. I'm trying to remember that I don't have guns anymore. Man, look at the guns on this thing. Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... What? No guns? Oh, you're killing me, Kinsey. I found you power armor. The guns are just missing stuff. Kenzie, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh look, Kenzie, you weave worlds like a goddess <laughs> of the brush. Fine, I'll find another door. Oh my god. This is sexy. Up, up, and away. I can't hack the doors and I don't exactly have fingers. How do I open them? Brute force works. There we go. Uh-oh, company. You take care of what's there and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Alright, you bastards. Time to play! Oh hey! I got a robot. Come here, guys! Come here! Come here! Boom! That was awesome. Oh, you want a piece of this? You want a piece of this, huh? Yeah, yeah. Boom! Oh, oh, hey guys! What's up? Boom! Me is so jealous right now. Oh, boom! All right, Kenzie, get a railgun on this like ASAP. Oh yeah, you guys had, you guys uh, caused me some trouble in the virtual world. Boom! Here's a real world now. Mm. You're doing, huh? Yeah, step on you. What do these blue things do? They give me help? Hell yeah, they do! Hey, I thought I killed you. There. That just makes sure you're dead. Label these things, Kinsey. I hope so. Oh, hey guys! What you guys doing? Oh, Kinsey's recording this. Oh, relax. You guys had a boring job anyway. This makes it more interesting. me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. People I didn't realize they had robots. Thank you. This is a robot. You know, Kinsey was all, this is power armor, not a... So, not a robot? Are 
does Kenzie get all this stuff? What kind of firepower does that mech have? Kenzie said the guns are missing stuff. Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. <gasps> no. You're gonna find. You're gonna find guns. Matt, I love you. I mean, Kenzie's fucking awesome. But thank you for installing guns. Boom! Uh oh. Get away from Matt. He's getting me guns. Stay away from him. Are you done yet? You worry about your job and let me do mine. Sounds just like Kenzie. Hey guys. How much would that suck if, like, you were running to, you know, take care of a small prisoner and you come around the corner and there's a giant mech? That's gotta suck a little bit. you're used to. The gun, Matt. Don't oversell it. I got this. More than just a gun. All right. Let's get to Kinsey. Oh, thank you. I asked for a real gun and you gave me a real gun. Oh, I love you. All right. That's that. Oh, okay. There's the rocket button. being permanently glitched the Kenzie, wall. tell me you're close. I'm close. I'm also lying. But I'll be here as soon as I can. <laughs> Matt, get down! Here comes some more! What? Get away from Matt! Shouldn't have fucked with the he gives me guns! Take that, sons of bitches. Uh oh. Boy! I said get away from Matt. He gives me guns. These guns, to be precise. Alright, give me some health. Whoa! Stop 
Oh, that's not good. Funny how the situation changes when you don't have guns! That was fun. Oh man, here we go again with the Star Wars! like it. I guess that wasn't Zinyak's ship. That was awesome. I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You'd think someone could at least give me a high five. We need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> Me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. The only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Matt's back. And that was a lot of fun. Didn't need to see him naked. Rescue Matt Miller? Yep. Ah! I'm bald again! Kenzie! Kenzie! I need your love again! No! Wait, is it? Oh god, you're not Kenzie! Run! Okay, alright, well, 
I'm gonna go find my hair. I'm gonna find Kenzie to make this all better. This is the 84th Wolf, and I'm getting the fuck out of here.